noun, common noun, proper noun, collective noun, abstract noun. Welcome friends, I am Anna and today I will help you in learning noun. Let's go. A noun is a word that is used to name people, animals, things, places, etc. Name of persons, mother, father, milkman, Name of animals, dog, giraffe, bear. Name of things, jar, kite, bat. Name of places, school, St. Peter's Hospital, home. Examples of nouns are mother, father, milkman, dog. Giraffe, bear, jar, kite, bat, school, hospital, home and the likes. Welcome friends! Nouns can be of various types. The first type of noun is common noun. A common noun is a word used for identifying a class of person, animal, place, or thing. Name of persons. Man, woman, professor. Name of animals. Cat, duck, lion. Name of things. Book, flower, tree. Name of places. Tower, garden, city. Examples of common nouns are man, woman, professor, cat, duck, lion, tower, garden, city, book, flower, tree and the likes. Welcome friends! The second type of noun is proper noun. A proper noun is the actual name of a person, animal, place or thing. It always starts with a capital letter. Name of persons Mr. White, Aunt Jane, Professor Cage Name of animals Kitty, Daffy Duck, Sher Khan Name of things Cinderella, Lily, Gulmohar Name of places Leaning Tower of Pisa, Botanical Garden, New Delhi Examples of proper nouns include Mr. White, Aunt Jane, Professor Cage, Kitty, Daffy Duck, Sher Khan Leaning Tower of Pisa, Botanical Garden, New Delhi, Cinderella, Lily, Gulmohar and the likes. Welcome friends! The third type of noun is Collective Noun. A collective noun is used for a collection of people, animals or things. Name of Persons Crowd of people, choir of singers, class of students, team of athletes, name of animals, flock of sheep, litter of puppies, troop of monkeys, name of things, bouquet of flowers, pod of peas, pack of cards. Examples of collective noun include Crowd of people, choir of singers, class of students, team of athletes, school of fish, flock of sheep, litter of puppies, troop of monkeys, fleet of ships, bouquet of flowers, pack of cards, pod of peas and the likes. 
Welcome friends. The fourth type of noun is abstract noun. An abstract noun is something that cannot be felt by the five senses. It refers to ideas, concepts, expression, state of being, feeling and the likes. Name of persons. Having an ice cream in winters is pure pleasure. Childhood is a miracle. King Solomon was known for his wisdom. The children were awarded for their courage. James has a lot of pride. Teachers share their knowledge. Examples of abstract nouns include pleasure, childhood, wisdom, courage, pride, knowledge and the likes. Once, the emperor of China got a beautiful cat as a gift. Now, the cat was so beautiful and smart that the emperor became very fond of it and took it with him everywhere he went. Unfortunately, the cat did not have a name. Whenever people around the emperor asked the cat's name, the emperor had no answer. Fed up of the questions, the emperor's minister announced in front of the crowd of people that he would reward the person who could come up with an appropriate name for the cat in the next seven days. On the seventh day, everybody came to the court to decide the cat's name. The princess said, Father, I think the cat should be called Tiger. The emperor was quite pleased with the name and agreed. The prince disagreed and said, A tiger cannot fly in the sky. A flight of dragons looks so royal. Therefore, the cat should be named after a dragon. We will call the cat Dragon. The cook then said, I am sorry, prince, but... A dragon cannot fly higher than the clouds. Therefore, the cat should be named Cloud. To this, the minister said, It is the wind that pushes the clouds around. Therefore, the cat has to be named Wind. The fat Mrs. Shaolin shook her head and said, The wind cannot cross the brick wall. So, the cat will be called brick wall. The emperor was happy that at least the cat has got a name. He announced that the cat would be called brick wall. Just then, the princess friend Kaya said, Dear emperor, brick wall is rather a long name. When she saw that the emperor was thinking hard, she continued, a colony of rats can easily eat through a brick wall emperor. Hence, we should call the cat Rat. The emperor was again about to announce the name of the cat, but the empress waved her hand. She said, Your Highness, how can you call a cat Rat? Thinking that the empress was right, the emperor said, No, I think Rat is not an appropriate name for the cat. Further, a cat can eat a rat. Therefore, it is stronger than the rat. The emperor continued. Thus, from now on, we will call the cat, Cat. The emperor declared. So, from that day onwards, the cat was called Cat and was seen everywhere with the emperor. Hello friends, how are you? Do you enjoy the story? I enjoy the lot. Now, let's see how much we understand the nouns. Let's check.
Here are some sentences. We have to find and circle the nouns from these. For this, we need a magic pencil. So, are you ready, friends? Okay, let's start. The Spanish test last Tuesday was very hard. Spanish is noun. Tuesday is noun. Suzanne was restless because she had lost her pet canary, Tweet. Suzanne is noun. Pet is noun. Marshland's holidays at the Mount Kilimanjaro Resort at Tanzania in Africa were truly memorable. Mount Kilimanjaro Resort is noun. Africa is noun. Have you seen Ms. Zara pass the St. John School Gates? Ms. Zara is noun. St. John School is noun. John was followed by the swarm of bees wherever he went. John is noun. Swarm of bees is noun. Mr. Simpson had a brood of hens that collectively give him 50 eggs every day. Mr. Simpson is clown. Brood of hens is clown. Danny gifted his sister a cute little rabbit called Toothy. Danny is clown. Rabbit is clown. Tom was late for the movie, so Becky had no choice but to see the movie alone. Tom is clown. Movie is clown. Kate was in such a hurry that she left without her keys. Kate is clown. Keys is clown. Lifeline Hospital has been judged as the best hospital in Asia. Lifeline Hospital is clown. Asia is Transitive verb, intransitive verb, dynamic verb, dative verb. Welcome friends, I am Anna and today I will help you in learning verbs. Let's go! Verbs can be of various types. The first type of verb is transitive verb. A transitive verb is that verb which performs a specific function on a direct subject. The teacher is scolding Lisa. Scolding is transitive verb. Tom is painting the fence. Painting is transitive verb. Jim Threw the candy. Threw is transitive verb. Mom baked apple pie for us. Baked is transitive verb. The duck touched her ducklings lovingly. Touched is transitive verb. The cat attacked the milk jar. Attacked is transitive verb. Welcome friends. The second type of verb is intransitive verb. An intransitive verb is that verb which performs a specific function but on an indirect or no subject. Examples of intransitive verbs are as follows. It rained hard the whole night. Rained, rained is intransitive verb. Mom is reading. Reading. Reading is intransitive verb. Uncle Robert sat there quietly. Sad, sad is intransitive verb. The boys are playing. Playing, playing is intransitive verb. The lion generally sleeps at this time. Sleeps, sleeps is intransitive verb. Sam has been coughing quite a lot. Coughing. Cuffing is intransitive verb. Welcome friends. 
The third type of verb is dynamic verb. A dynamic verb refers to a real action or process or expression performed by the subject. The spider crawled up the wall. Crawled is dynamic verb. The hippo swims the whole day. Swims is dynamic verb. Jack erased the mistake before anybody could see it. Erase is dynamic verb. The light has been blinking for the past hour. Blinking is dynamic verb. Don't point fingers at other people. Point is dynamic verb. Mohan purchased the vegetables. Purchase is dynamic verb. Examples of dynamic verbs are purchased, swims, erased, blinking, point, crawled and so on. Welcome friends! The fourth type of verb is stative verb. A stative verb refers to the preferences or state or situation or relation of the subject. Sumi prefers fruits to vegetables. Prefers, prefers is stative verb. The school requires more admissions. Requires, requires is stative verb. The judge agreed with the lawyer. Agreed, agreed is stative verb. Uncle Wilson can't remember where he kept his glasses. Remember, remember is stative verb. Bacteria hate sunlight. Hate, hate is stative verb. Sumit deserves a second chance. Deserves, deserves is stative verb. Examples of stative verbs are prefers, requires, agreed, deserves, hate, remember and so on. Here are some more examples of verbs. Danny loves panting and drooling. The singer sang while reading. The thunder boomed and clapped. The baby smiles while eating. Here are some more examples of verbs. Mr. Michael ate and thought. The child holds hand while walking. Sam shook his head and plays his flute. The boy jumps while crying. A long time ago, four friends lived together in the jungle. They were the deer, the crow, the turtle and the mouse. They loved each other and promised to be together always. One day, a hunter came to the jungle. He threw a net for the turtle and went away. The turtle unknowingly swam right into the trap. He was caught bad. He called his friends for help. His friends came running to help him. The turtle and his friends thought of a plan to set him free. When the hunter returned in the evening, he was thrilled to see a nice plum turtle in the net. He picked up the turtle and started walking home. Soon he came across a deer lying on the ground and a crow circling the deer. The deer and the crow were the turtle's friends. And the deer was pretending to be dead and the crow was pretending to peck at his eyes. Today is my lucky day. I must take the deer also, thought the hunter. Then the hunter kept the turtle down and ran to get the deer. In the meantime, the rat hurriedly cut the net so that the turtle could escape from it. On the other hand, when the deer saw that the turtle is free, he got up and quickly sprinted across the fields. What a surprise the hunter got! He shrugged his shoulders and went back to the turtle. But there was no turtle. Now the hunter was very angry. He thought, 
one must never be greedy there all the friends met at the meeting place and celebrated Hello friends how are you do you enjoy the story i enjoyed a lot now let's see how much we understand the verbs let's check see friends this is my magic eraser with the help of this we will find the correct verbs for these blanks let's start mother is learning how to dash the car right mother is learning how to drive the car drive is verb suzan dash money this summer vacation earn suzan earned money this summer vacation earned is verb the boys are dash about the ball arguing the boys are arguing about the ball arguing is verb naughty bill dash poor benny in the pool push naughty bill pushed poor benny in the pool pushed is verb the conductor dash for the passengers for their tickets ask the conductor asked for the passengers for their tickets asked is verb the hen dash four golden eggs laid the hen laid four golden eggs laid is verb the cook dash all the potatoes a crisp golden right the cook fried all the potatoes a crisp golden fried is verb mr walrus dash rather loudly while sleeping snores mr walrus snores rather loudly while sleeping snores is verb the teacher is dash for the students waiting the teacher is waiting for the students waiting is verb the police dash after the burglar run the police run after the burglar run is verb adverb adverb of manner adverb of place adverb of time adverb of degree welcome friends my name is anna and today i will help you in learning adverb let's go adverbs are words that are used to modify an adjective verb or another adverb an adverb tells us what where when and in what manner a thing is done we must remember that an adverb never modifies a noun or a pronoun examples of adverbs include carefully briskly cheerfully equally quietly rudely and the likes let's read some more examples of adverbs sorrowfully loudly early vertically weakly hotly welcome friends adverbs can be of various types the first type of adverb is the adverb of manner an adverb of manner answers the question how or in what manner the soldier fought bravely bravely is adverb of manner the boy sang softly 
Softly is the adverb of manner. The teacher screamed angrily. Angrily is the adverb of manner. The boat rocked gently. Gently is the adverb of manner. The son followed the mother closely. Closely is the adverb of manner. The mother keeps the clothes neatly. Neatly is the adverb of manner. Examples of adverbs of manner include bravely, softly, angrily, closely, gently, neatly, and the likes. Let's read some more examples of adverbs of manner. He swims well. The child ate chocolates greedily. He plays the flute beautifully. She ate the oranges slowly. Teacher taught the children sincerely. The child cried loudly. Welcome friends. The second type of adverb is the adverb of place. An adverb of place shows where the action is done. It answers the question, where? The ball is in the bowl. In is adverb of place. The ball is outside the bowl. Outside is is adverb of place. The clothes are kept there. There is adverb of place. The books are kept here. Here is adverb of place. The Christmas spirit is everywhere. Everywhere is adverb of place. He is nowhere to be found. Nowhere is adverb of place. Examples of adverbs of place include in, out, there, here, everywhere, nowhere, and the likes. Let's read some more examples of adverbs of place. All the children are here. The shoes are kept there. The boy is on top of the slide. The child is outside the fast food shop. Jane is standing ahead of Susie. He is going upstairs. Welcome friends. The third type of adverb is the adverb of time. An adverb of time tells us about the time when an event takes place. It answers the question, when. I read the newspaper daily. Daily is adverb of time. Lena joined the office yesterday. Yesterday is adverb of time. Steve often eats ice creams in the evening. Often is adverb of time. I want the teddy right now. Now is adverb of time. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow is adverb of time. Uncle Reed comes to visit us sometimes. Sometimes is adverb of time. Examples of adverbs of time include daily, yesterday, often, now, tomorrow, sometimes and the likes. Let us read some more examples of adverbs of time. He slept early in the night. Tom visited the doctor yesterday. Mr. Sam is going to London tomorrow. Tommy paints sometimes. I am going to a fancy dress party tonight. She is still waiting for her brother. Welcome friends. The fourth type of adverb is the adverb of degree. An adverb of degree tells us about the extent to which an event takes place. It answers the question, to what degree or extent or how much? Lily is quite upset. 
Quiet is the adverb of degree. The color blue is very in. Very is the adverb of degree. Tony has just kept the apples. Just is the adverb of degree. The potter is the least bothered. Least is the adverb of degree. You will find Steffi in the library most of the times. Most is the adverb of degree. The frog almost fell in the river. Most is the adverb of degree. Examples of adverbs of degree are quiet, very, just, least, most, almost and the likes. Let us read some more examples of adverbs of degree. The water is extremely cold. He hardly noticed what he was saying. The man almost dug the pit. The food is very tasty. The man was quite sad. The donkey sings most of the time. Once, Miss Stork and Mr. Fox were very good friends. They enjoyed each other's company quite a lot. One day, Mr. Fox cautiously invited Miss Dog to his house for dinner. Miss Dog, being of a kind nature, happily accepted Mr. Fox's invitation. The next day, Miss Dog arrived at Mr. Fox's house a little early. Mr. Fox graciously invited her inside and asked her to sit comfortably. The friends quickly started talking. They were so delighted to be together that they happily sang songs for a couple of hours. Soon it was time for dinner. Mr. Fox went skipping to the kitchen to get the warm and delicious dinner. Now remember, foxes are sly by nature. And so was our Mr. Fox. Slyly, he poured the soup in two shallow dishes and took them outside. Poor Miss Dog could not drink even a drop of the soup with an exceptionally long beak. She tried and tried, but the shallow dish made it impossible for her to drink the soup. On the other hand, Mr. Fox rather enjoyed Miss Dog's discomfort while comfortably lapping up the soup himself. She had to stay hungry in spite of being invited for dinner. She angrily stormed back home but thought of a cunning plan. The next day, Miss Dog respectfully invited Mr. Fox for dinner. Mr. Fox gladly accepted the invitation. When he arrived at Miss Dog's house, she also greeted him politely. Again, both the friends got talking and enthusiastically sang songs for an hour or so. Once it was time for dinner, Miss Dog went inside to get the delicious supper. She hummed loudly while warming the soup. The yummy aroma of the soup starting tantalizing Mr. Fox's taste buds. He eagerly awaited for the soup. When Miss Dog came out, she was carrying two bottles with long necks filled with wonderful smelling soups. As soon as Mr. Fox saw the bottles, his face fell by quite a degree. While Miss Dog happily gorged on the soup, our Mr. Fox could not get even a drop of it. He also had to return home hungry. 
but he understood his mistake and promised never to behave cunningly with anybody else ever again. Hello friends, how are you? Do you enjoy the story? I enjoy a lot. But how much we understand the adverb? Let's learn with fun. Here are some blanks that we have to fill with correct adverb using help box. So, take a look. The snail moves dash. Slowly, the snail moves slowly. Slowly is adverb. The naughty boy dash completes his homework. Never, the naughty boy never completes his homework. Never is adverb. Mr. Simpson dash sleeps after eating his lunch. Often, Mr. Simpson often sleeps after eating his lunch. Often is adverb. The princess was dash happy to see the prince. Very. The princess was very happy to see the prince. Very is adverb. The boy drove the car dash. Carefully. The boy Drove the car carefully. Carefully is adverb. Lily is known to dance very dash. Gracefully. Lily is known to dance very gracefully. Gracefully is adverb. It is raining dash heavily. It is raining heavily. Heavily is adverb. The bride dressed dash beautifully. The bride dressed beautifully. Beautifully is adverb dash. The fish was saved. Luckily, luckily the fish was saved. Luckily is adverb. The birds are flying dash in the air. Hi. The birds are flying high in the air. Hi. Adjectives. Adjective of quality. Adjective of quantity. Adjective of number. Demonstrative adjective. Interrogative adjective. Welcome friends. I am Anna. And today... I will help you in learning adjectives. Let's go! Adjectives are words that are used to describe nouns or pronouns. An adjective makes the meaning of a noun or a pronoun more clear. Fat Mrs. Smith Fat is adjectives. This bag This is adjective. The darker girl Darker is adjective. Tall Wilson. Tall is adjective. Which toy? Which is adjective. Some birds. Some is adjective. Examples of adjectives include fat, tall, dark, this, that, little, few, Many, two, seven, which, whose, and the likes. Welcome friends! Adjectives can be of various types. The first type of adjectives is the adjective of quality. An adjective of quality describes the quality of nouns. It answers the question of what kind. An intelligent robo. Intelligent is adjective of quality. Wicked Mr. Sam. 
Wicket is adjective of quality. The shrewd rabbit. Shrewd is adjective of quality. Patent socks. Patent is adjective of quality. A red apple. Red is adjective of quality. The large boat. Large is adjective of quality. Examples of adjectives of quality include intelligent, red, shrewd, wicked, large, patterned and the likes. Welcome friends. The second type of adjective is the adjective of quantity. An adjective of quantity describes nouns that cannot be measured. It answers the question, how much? Enough is enough. Enough is adjective of quantity. Many mangoes. Many is adjective of quantity. Little rice. Little is adjective of quantity. Some caps. Some is adjective of quantity. All the children. All is adjective of quantity. Few soldiers. Few is adjective of quantity. Examples of adjective of quantity include little, some, few, many, all, enough and the likes. Welcome friends. The third type of adjective is the adjective of number. An adjective of number describes nouns that can be measured. It answers the question, how many? The fourth hut. Fourth is adjective of number. The eighth month. Eight is adjective of number. Three. Three is adjective of number. The third girl. Third is adjective of number. Five pups. Five is adjective of number. One giraffe. One is adjective of number. Examples of adjectives of number include one, third, eleventh, five, tenth, eighth and the likes. Welcome friends. The fourth type of adjective is the demonstrative adjective. A demonstrative adjective answers the question, which? This stain, this is demonstrative adjective. Those shoes, those is demonstrative adjective. That apple, that is demonstrative adjective. These books, these is demonstrative adjective. Examples of demonstrative adjectives include this, those, that and these. Welcome friends! The fifth type of adjective is the interrogative adjective. An interrogative adjective asks questions about the noun. Which car? Which is interrogative adjective? Whose bike? Whose is interrogative adjective? What CD? What is interrogative adjective? Examples of interrogative adjectives include which, what and whose. Once there was a hungry mouse. She had not eaten for many days and therefore had become very thin. One day, she went to look for something to eat. She found a large basket at a distance. She went to the basket and tried to search for food. Suddenly, she saw a small hole in the side of the basket. Being so slight and bony, the mouse easily entered the basket through the tiny hole. 
Seeing so much corn, the excited small mouse started eating the corn greedily. In a few days, she became quite fat. Now, she was totally round. She felt sleepy and slept a sound sleep. When she woke up, she thought, Now that I'm quite full, I should leave this huge basket. She tried to come out of the basket, but she was so chubby that she could no longer squeeze through the little hole. Just then, a brown rat passed by. Ahoy! Mr. Rat called the now big mouse. Can you help me come out of the basket? How did you get in, Miss Mouse? asked the confused rat. The big mouse thought for a while. Well, I was quite thin when I got in, dear sir replied the big mouse. The rat laughed loudly and said, Then you need to get thin again. Pretty little mouse to get out. And went on his merry way. Now, the stout mouse had no choice but to stop eating if she wanted to come out of the big corn basket. Poor Miss Big Mouse. The poor big mouse went in the basket and laid down sadly. Hello friends, how are you? Do you enjoy the story? I enjoy a lot. But how much we understand the adjective? Let's check. See friends, this is my magic pencil. With the help of this, we will write adjectives for these images, brown, thoughtful, happy, astonished, hungry, beautiful, angry, big, brown, thoughtful, happy, astonished, hungry, angry, beautiful, big. Want to do more fun? Then come with me. See friends, this is my magic eraser. With the help of this, we will find the correct adjectives for these blanks. Let's start. The dash snake tried to bite the rat. Poisonous. The poisonous snake tried to bite the rat. Poisonous is adjectives. The dash cow ate strawberries and gave dash milk. Brown White The brown cow ate strawberries and gave white milk. Brown is adjectives. White is adjectives. The dash rabbit broke the cookie jar. Pink The pink Rabbit broke the cookie jar. Pink is adjectives. Daisy likes the dash frog. Pretty. Daisy likes the pretty frog. Pretty is adjectives. The dash cat jumped on the dash table. Naughty. High. The naughty cat jumped on the high table. Naughty is adjectives. High is adjectives. The hen gave dash eggs. Brown. The hen gave brown eggs. Brown is adjectives. The dash giraffe ate all the leaves at the top. Tall. The tall giraffe ate all the leaves at the top. Tall is adjectives. Miss Walrus has made a dash painting. Beautiful. Miss Walrus has made a beautiful painting. Beautiful is adjectives. The zebra is wearing a dash sock. Torn. 
The zebra is wearing a torn sock. Torn is adjectives. The dash bear is quite well behaved. Brave. The brave bear is quite well behaved. Brave is a hello friends. How are you? Tenses, present tense, past tense, future tense. Welcome friends. I am Anna. And today I will help you in learning tenses. Let's go. Tenses are words that are used to refer time. By using tenses, you can refer to either the past, the present, or the future. Tenses are shown by the form of the verbs used. The cat sleeps. Present tense. The cat slept. Past tense. The cat will sleep. Future tense. The man digs. Present tense. The man dug. Past tense. The man will dig. Future tense. The swimmer dives. Present tense. The swimmer dive. Past tense. The swimmer will dive. Future tense. Welcome friends. Tenses are mainly of three types. The first type is the present tense. The present tense expresses actions or states at the time of speaking. It is also used in other conditions such as when talking about repeated actions, when talking about facts and generalizations, when talking about scheduled events in the near future. Mom ties her hair in a bun. Present tense Monkeys love bananas. Present tense the bus leaves at 6 a.m. Present tense. This almira is made of wood. Present tense. I want an ice cream. Present tense. Father generally comes home around 8 p.m. Present tense. See some more examples of present tense. The teacher teaches us. The telephone is made of plastic. The cook cooks the food. The chipmunk dances very well. The family visits the town. The sofa is made of fabric. Welcome friends! The second tense is the past tense. The past tense refers to things that happen in the past. It is also used in other conditions such as when talking about a series of actions that have already been completed, when talking about a particular duration in the past, when talking about habits of the past, when talking about facts or generalizations of the past. Mandy loved apples. Past tense. Mom tied her hair in a bun. Past tense. The boy began to play cricket. Past tense. The man waited for an hour. Past tense. The boy ate all the food. Past tense. Everybody shouted in the teacher's absence. Past tense. Let's see some more examples of past tense. The boy began to sing. The fish swam in water. The boat sailed in water. The boy cried for an ice cream. The child kept on the table. Jane joined the office last week. Welcome friends. The third tense is the future tense. It refers to actions that will happen in the future. 
It is also used in other conditions such as when talking about a series of actions that will be done in the future. When talking about a promise. When talking about a prediction. Leela will eat the oranges. Future tense. The soldier will begin the war tomorrow. Future tense. It will rain tonight. Future tense. The play will win a lot of awards. Future tense. The couple will get married at 8 p.m. Future tense. The teacher will teach sincerely. Future tense. Let's see some more examples of future tense. The girl will open the box. The soldiers will fight in the war. Amy will go for a walk. The boy will sleep at 9 p.m. Huck will go to school tomorrow. The boy will run in the race. Once upon a time, there was a young man named Penny. He was really good at inventing things. He used to invent things out of leftover materials and was quite famous for his talent. One day, Penny decided that he wanted to fly. He made up his mind that he will invent wings so that humans could fly whenever and wherever they want. Hurriedly, he went to his laboratory and started working furiously at making the wings. For weeks, Penny's neighbors did not see him. They started wondering. One said, I wonder what Penny is inventing now. The other man said, must be something interesting. I have not seen him for weeks. Thus, the neighbors eagerly waited for Penny's new invention. Soon, Penny came up with wings. Look, I have made wings out of metal for humans. I must try these. He went to a hill and started to take a run up. But the wings were too heavy and he soon lost steam. Phew! He thought, these sure are heavy. <sighs> Seeing this, the people laughed <laughs> at him. Penny then decided to make wings using another material. This time, he made wings of wood and tissue paper. He took the wings to the terrace to try them. When he jumped from the roof, the wind flew off in all directions and Penny landed with his face on the land. Ouch! That hurts! He said. The people still laughed at him and said that what he was planning to do was impossible. They said that he was wasting his time and trying the impossible. But... Penny was not to be deterred. Penny again started working on his project. This time, he decided to use wax and wood to make these wings. This time, the wings that Penny made were truly beautiful. Everybody was awed with how real these wings looked. Penny again decided to test the wings and therefore them to the hill. He took the run up and jumped off the hill. This time he was successful. He started flying. He flew and flew and flew and went very high. The people at the bottom craned their necks to see where Penny would go. Even Penny could not believe that he 
had succeeded. After he had flown around for some time, he decided that he needed to get down. But alas, he had not thought of that while working on the wings. Penny had totally forgotten to add a brake system to the wings. Now he was worried. How will I get down? He wondered. Just then the wax in the wings started melting. He soon realized that he had flown so close to the sun that the heat started melting his wings. Soon, he was spiraling down the sky at a great speed. He crashed in some bushes. When he came out of the bushes, Penny thought that he will never experiment with this project any longer. After all, if God wanted humans to have wings, he would have provided them himself. Hello friends, how are you? Do you enjoy the story? I enjoy a lot. But how much we understand the tenses? Let's check. See friends, this is my magic eraser. With the help of this, we will find the correct tenses for these blanks. Let's start. Every Saturday, Raul dash for football practice. Goes. Every Saturday, Raul goes for football practice. Do take the umbrella. I'm sure that it will dash. Rain. Do take the umbrella. I'm sure that it will rain. Davis dash a book about his mother wrote Davis wrote a book about his mother Dad and I dash for a movie yesterday when Dad and I went for a movie yesterday these shots will dash like hot cakes in London then these shots will sell like hot cakes in London. Christine dash last night. Called. Christine called last night. We will dash at the coffee shop. Meet. We will meet at the coffee shop. Mom often dash to Frank very patiently. Talk. Mom often talks to Frank very patiently. The deer dash fast. Ran. The deer ran fast. The rainbow dash beautiful. Look. The rainbow looks. Pronouns Objective pronoun Objective pronoun Possessive pronoun Demonstrative pronoun Interrogative pronoun Indefinite pronouns Welcome friends I am Anna And today I will help you in learning pronouns Let's go Pronouns are words that are used in the place of nouns. These are used basically to avoid repetitive usage of nouns. This can be further understood with the help of the following examples. My mother's name is 
Liz My mother is very sweet. My mother cooks lovely food. My mother loves me a lot. Even I love my mother a lot. My mother's name is Liz. She is very sweet. She cooks lovely food. She loves me a lot. Even I love my mother a lot. Don't you think that the second paragraph sounds much better than the first paragraph? This is because the second paragraph uses pronouns instead of using the words my mother again and again. This is the precise use of pronouns. Welcome friends! Pronouns are of various types. The first type of pronoun is the subjective pronoun. The subjective pronoun is actually the subject of the sentence. It is that word on which the action of the verb is performed. I want the burger. I is subjective pronoun. Do you like chocolates? You is subjective pronoun. He is known for his good looks. He is subjective pronoun. She dances very well. He is subjective pronoun. We will leave the house by 5 a.m. We is subjective pronoun. It is not very clean. It is subjective pronoun. Examples of subjective pronouns include I, you, he, she, we, it and they. Where are you going? I am going to Tom's house. We will go to the park. He is out with his family. They will return by tomorrow. Welcome friends. The second type of pronoun is the objective pronoun. The objective pronoun, as the name suggests, is the object of the sentence. It is that part of the sentence that receives the action. Simon played a prank on me. Me is objective pronoun. Everyone blamed you. You is objective pronoun. The dog barked at him. Him is objective pronoun. Mother brought the skirt for her. Her is objective pronoun. The stains are visible on it. It is objective pronoun. The shopkeeper ran after them. Them is objective pronoun. Examples of objective pronouns include me, you, him, her, us, it and them. There is dirt on it. Amy shouted at me. I will speak to her. You go and sit with him. Welcome friends. The third type of pronoun is the possessive pronoun. A possessive pronoun talks about ownership. These pronouns are generally used as adjectives. This cycle is mine. Mine is possessive pronoun. Why are you sitting on our sofa? Ours is possessive pronoun. Is this plate yours? Yours is possessive pronoun. Is this car really his? His is possessive pronoun. The pen belongs to her. Her is possessive pronoun. Their mother comes to the park every day. Their is possessive pronoun. Examples of possessive pronouns include mine, 
ours, yours, his, hers, our, its, and theirs. She is our neighbor. Is that house yours? That house is mine. The girl standing near the house is his sister. Welcome friends. The fourth type of pronoun is the demonstrative pronoun. A demonstrative pronoun points towards a noun. This book is hilarious. This is demonstrative pronoun. That is the temple we need to visit. That is demonstrative pronoun. Are these real ones? These is demonstrative pronoun. Now, those are the expensive ones. Those is demonstrative pronoun. Examples of demonstrative pronouns include this, that, these and those. These are flowers grown by the gardener. This is a butterfly sitting on the flower. Those are a host of sparrows sitting on the tree branch. That parrot is flying away from the tree branch. Welcome friends! The fifth type of pronoun is the interrogative pronoun. An interrogative pronoun helps in asking the noun a question. What are you wearing for the party tonight? What is interrogative pronoun? Where were you? Where is interrogative pronoun? When will the train depart? When is interrogative pronoun? Why are you sad? Why is interrogative pronoun? How will you go home? How is interrogative pronoun? Examples of interrogative pronouns include what, where, who, when, why and how. Who gave you this parcel? Why are you asking? When will you both stop arguing? How should I end this quarrel in my house? Welcome friends! The sixth type of pronoun is the indefinite pronoun. Indefinite pronouns point at things that are not definite. Has anybody seen my glasses? Anybody is indefinite pronouns. Have all of you come to visit the doctor? All is indefinite pronouns. Does someone know the address? Someone is indefinite pronouns. Neither of the brothers know about this. Neither is indefinite pronouns. When the news flashed, many people inquired. Many is indefinite pronouns. I will listen to everyone. Everyone is indefinite pronouns. Examples of objective pronouns include me, you, him, her, us, it and them. Is someone going for the picnic? All of us are going ma'am. Anyone left to submit the money? Yes, few of us have not yet submitted the money. The doctor said, I am sorry David, but you need to lose weight. David shook his head and looked at the floor. Then he went to the mirror. There he saw a fat, obese child of 11 years old who had a round red face and fat arms and fat legs. You are right, doctor. I look disgusting. I must lose weight, said David, slowly turning away from his reflection. David's mother 
who was also at the clinic with him looked at the doctor and said but doctor losing weight can be very tough the doctor smiled and looked at david before saying not if he really wants to at this david looked up and said yes i really want to then pulling up his pants over his stomach he said how can i start doctor well start with eating the right things suggested the doctor david's mother again said but he has a substantial appetite the doctor said what's wrong with that in fact this is quite good david looked at him with surprise how is that so well you can eat a lot of salads not only plain ones but also those ones that have low calorie dressings said he this made david quite happy as he loved salads david's mother looked at david knowingly and said what about sweets doctor can he have them or are those a strict no no the doctor understood the mother's concern and said of course he can eat sweets but in moderation this made david's day and what about exercise will that help he asked the doctor he said yes david exercise will help a lot you can start exercising by trying to play the game you like the most for at least half an hour daily slowly increase the duration of play try this for just a month and let's see the difference it makes i'm sure after month there would be a huge difference smile the doctor david encouraged grabbed hold of his mother's hand and said come mother we have to make a new start you and me from now on i will eat only healthy stuff and will exercise daily to reduce my weight mother smiled at the doctor and said thank you very much i can see that your talk has made a difference Hello friends how are you do you enjoy the story i enjoy a lot but how much we understand the pronoun let's check see friends this is my magic eraser with the help of this we will find the correct pronoun for these blanks let's start the trees in the garden are very nice dash are quite huge they the trees in the garden are very nice they are quite huge they is pronoun The teacher called Lisa and asked, "Have Dash got your books, Lisa?" "You." The teacher called Lisa and asked, "Have you got your books, Lisa?" "You" is pronoun. George loves riding his bike. Dash loves Dash very much. He. It. George loves riding his bike. He loves 
it very much. He is pronounced. It is pronounced. This movie theater belongs to Jess's dad. Dash maintains dash very nicely. He it. This movie theater belongs to Jess's dad. He maintains it very nicely. He is pronounced. It is pronounced. The twin sisters from Georgetown are here. Dash want to see the whole country in just four days. They, the twin sisters from Georgetown are here. They want to see the whole country in just four days. They is pronounced. How have Dash been? You, how have you been? You is pronounced. This cricket kit is dash. I got it from Australia. Mine. This cricket kit is mine. I got it from Australia. Mine is pronounced. The story of Alibaba and 40 thieves is very nice. But... Dash is very long. It. The story of Alibaba and 40 thieves is very nice. But it is very long.